down this road and no particular place to go and honestly about as boring as crap let's go ahead and talk about some advanced cornering on this straight road now what are we going to talk about well let's talk about counter steering now a lot of people newer riders people that have been riding for a while they don't really understand how counter steering works or when they should use it because the way you're taught when you first start riding the easiest way to teach people to ride is if you push down on that left handlebar that's going to make you go left if you push down on that right handlebar that's going to make you go right and it does this by brute force it's basically all it is now to get that bike down at higher speeds like that it's going to take more force to do it that way now if you want to finesse it and what do I mean by finesse it I mean use physics in your favor then you push that on the left handlebar if you push it forward while you're pushing down then the box will almost lay down like you're cutting through butter it's just easy now you're gonna have to go home and you're gonna have to study your high school physics on your own because I don't remember what the forces are called and this and that. There's gyro forces or something like that, I believe. But your front tire is what's driving that force. Now, if you wanna go into a turn at a higher speed and get that lean angle lower, push down and forward. That's as simple as counter steering is. Now at lower speeds, of course you don't want to counter steer. Lower speeds, I mean below 15, 20 miles an hour, it's a little bit harder to counter steer. About like riding your bike at lower revs, it doesn't like it too well. But what it will do on those longer rides, the more you counter steer instead of brute force it, it will make your ride a lot smoother. You will have a lot less fatigue. And honestly, your butt and your back will get sore a lot quicker than what your arms and your wrists do. Because your arms and wrists are staying loose, hopefully. Anyway, but it's, it's that simple. If you're going into a hard left turn at a higher rate of speed, instead of pushing down, push forward, push down and forward. If you're going in a hard right turn, push down and right. Now, I'm not gonna argue with you than saying it does work when you're saying it doesn't this and that because honestly it works millions of riders around the world will tell you it works millions of riders around the world will tell you that that is the way you counter steer so i'm not going to argue whether it works or not i'm just simply telling you that is how you do it and that is the benefits of doing so. So, if you don't counter steer right now, just try it out. 
it takes like a little while to get used to it and it feels awkward when you first start but once you get used to it you won't go back you'll be counter steering pretty much every turn that you go into Well, his radio is louder than his motorcycle. Nice bike, though. Too much bike for me. Yeah,